All right, so there's something that's really been bothering me recently. There are tons of new movies and TV shows that take place in Missouri, but they aren't, you know, shot in Missouri. Ozark, Sharp Objects, Thank You For Your Service, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. These stories take place in Missouri, but are they filmed here? Nope. Georgia, Georgia, North Carolina, Georgia, and California? Why? This drives me crazy. As a Missourian, somebody that's active in the filmmaking scene of this state, I know tons of videographers and electronic media professionals who live here and are desperate to be involved in these kinds of productions. But the last time a major motion picture that took place in Missouri that actually shot here was Gone Girl. And that was like five years ago, nothing recently. So why doesn't Missouri ever play Missouri? Well, it turns out it's not an issue with the state's geography or industry. It's all about money. But hey, aren't most things in the entertainment industry? Since 2014, most film and TV production companies have actually avoided shooting in Missouri because Missouri no longer offers a film tax incentive. What is a film tax incentive? I'm glad I asked. Also known as movie production incentives, they're tax benefits offered on a state-by-state -state basis to encourage in-state film production. To put it in a nutshell, if I own a production company that's looking to shoot a movie and I meet certain qualifications, then the state that I shoot it in might offer to reimburse me a certain percentage of the production costs. Maybe a state exempts my production company from certain taxes. Maybe they offer fee-free locations for me to shoot in. Maybe it's just a cash grant. Any special perks that a state decides to extend to film or TV companies in exchange for their business falls under this category. As it turns out, movie production incentives, they're a, they're a big driver for economic development in places all over the world. There are around 90 different places in the world that offer incentives. Fiji, for example, they offer a 47% tax rebate on production costs in their country. Certain states in the US will offer tax incentives as well, and local governments decide not only the requirements to qualify for them, but the benefits that can be offered. If you've ever wondered why almost every story that takes place in the Midwest is filmed in Georgia, you can thank that state's Film Incentive Program. Georgia's Entertainment Industry Investment Act provides a 20% tax credit for companies that spend half a million dollars or more on a single or multiple projects. They'll even toss in an extra 10% if you include their promotional logo in the film's end credits. Thanks in part to these tax breaks, Georgia has grown to the third largest production hub in the United States. Here's the thing. Making movies costs money, more often than not, a lot of money. And a TV show setting up production constitutes a huge investment in the local economy where the project is being filmed in. The TV show Nashville, for instance, they shot in Tennessee for six seasons, and this provided around 250 full-time jobs for residents in that state. And when you factor in tourism that's generated from the show, you're looking at over $700 million being injected into that state's economy. Now, where's all this money going? Well everywhere. Film and television production budgets aren't just spent on lights and cameras and actors. In order to produce a show, production companies will spend money on hotels and housing for the cast and crew, vehicle rental, restaurants for craft services, security, convenience stores, office space and office supplies, and a ton of hardware stores to build sets to film in. The point is, when a movie or show is being shot in an area, the producers will spend money on all kinds kinds of things. And if it's a show that lasts for, say, six seasons, that's a long-term commitment to the local economy. So naturally, lots of states want to incentivize productions to come shoot in their area. And states that don't offer these incentives will lose out on many an opportunity. Let's say I have a budget of around $5 million to make a show. That's a lot of money. It's still pretty small potatoes in the context of producing a Netflix original, but still. As a producer, I want to spend that money as wisely as possible. The further that I can stretch that $5 million, the better my show's going to be. If I have two possible states to shoot the show in, and one state offers to reimburse me 20% of my production budget, while the other state offers me nothing, 
I'm gonna go where the incentive is, and you would too. And wouldn't you know it, when the Missouri Film Production Incentive Program ended on November 28, 2013, productions largely stopped happening here. Ozark, the Golden Globe and Emmy-nominated Netflix original, tells a story that takes place in Missouri. The production crew of that show, they even considered shooting it here. But when no production incentives were offered to them, they decided instead to shoot in Georgia, only sending a skeleton crew out to Missouri for six days to shoot exterior shots that they would then splice into the show during editing. They spent a grand total of $100,000 here. When you consider how much money is spent daily on productions like that, and that Ozark is now getting a third season, you come to realize just how much money the state missed out on. I'm not the only person thinking about this. The movie-making community in Missouri is banding together to try and make the state more film-friendly. Last month, I was invited to speak at the Ozark Mountain Web Fest, a celebration of online video and Missouri filmmaking. And while everybody was out to lunch, I sat down with Stephanie Scuppum, the Kansas City Film Commissioner, to talk about the push to reinstate Missouri film incentives. So, we've got these web streaming shows that are massively popular. We've got Academy nominated, in some cases Academy Award winning films. We've got tons of novels that are going to be adapted. They all take place in Missouri, and they're all shot in Georgia. So why doesn't Missouri play Missouri? We are so popular for content. We're talking about Ozark, Sharp Objects, we're talking about Three Billboards, and then a lot in development as well that I heard on a recent trip to LA. So the reason that those aren't shooting here are simply because we are not competitive with other states that have a film incentive. In the US and in US territories, there are 36 programs. Missouri is one of the states that does not have any kind of incentive program for film, TV production. So without one, we are being looked over almost every time. Steph and others are part of MoMA, the Missouri Motion Media Association, an organization that, in part, is pushing local lawmakers to reinstate film incentives for Missouri. Stephanie's actually found great success in her local area of Kansas City. The statewide incentive, it might be gone, but local communities can still establish their own individual programs. A few places in Missouri they actually have, and the hope is that their success will cause a chain reaction throughout the entire Show me state. You see, the ultimate idea isn't just to convince outside productions to come to Missouri, but to encourage the already established film and television community here to invest their creative talents right back into their home state. When I learned that over the last decade, Georgia has seen an increase in TV and film production spending from $67.7 million in 2007 to $2.7 billion in 2017, and that as a result, there are over 41,000 people employed in entertainment manufacturing, I just kept thinking to myself, boy, what an amazing opportunity that Missouri just keeps missing out on. Now, maybe Missouri will bring film incentives back. If you want to join the push to reinstate them, I've linked to MoMA in the description. But you know something? I'm staying here and working in the state even without an incentive. I support my local community. I love my home state. I know it like the back of my hand. And I'm going to keep making awesome stuff in Missouri. And if you're a filmmaker, whether from outside the state or within it, I hope you'll make awesome stuff here too. It's a state with small towns, big cities, and rolling hills. A state with views like none other. A state with beautiful lakes, rivers, and streams, with parks and fairs and festivals. A state that truly experiences all four seasons. A state with museums and libraries and history. But don't just come shoot exteriors and then move your main production elsewhere. Missouri is more than just pretty sights. Missouri is its people. Friendly, honest, hardworking men and women from various trades and different walks of life, and specific to your interests, it has more than 11,000 professionals working in the motion picture and commercial production industry. Its colleges and its universities offer 38 film and digital media programs to ensure future industry workers. I'm one of them. I was an electronic media production student in Missouri. The truth is that this state is full of people and places that can help bring your movie or commercial or show to life. So for your production, why not let Missouri play Missouri?
Videos like this don't get made without the help of a lot of people, and today's sponsor, Audible, made it a reality. Many of the small town stories mentioned in this video started as books, and those books can be found on Audible. There's no better place to listen to audiobooks because the platform has the largest selection on the planet. You might consider checking out Thank You For Your Service by David Finkel, which we referenced a few times during the show as a small town story recently brought to the big screen. Every month, Audible members get one credit good for any audiobook they choose and two Audible originals they can't get anywhere else. Plus, your books are yours to keep. With Audible, you can go back and re-listen at any time, even if you cancel your membership. Didn't like your audiobook? Then exchange it, no questions asked. Start a 30-day trial and your first audiobook is free. Go to audible.com slash Austin McConnell or text Austin McConnell to 500-500. That's audible.com slash Austin McConnell or text Austin McConnell to 500-500.